This morning, there is a major step forward for gun reform. The state Senate voting last night to pass a bill that could bring some significant changes if, if it makes its way through Beacon Hill. NBC 10's Manash Kongwari has this story. New gun legislation could be coming to Massachusetts as soon as this spring after the state Senate Thursday night passed what's known as the SAFER Act. With a vote of 37 to 3, the Massachusetts State Senate passing a comprehensive gun reform bill aimed at overhauling the state's firearm laws. The bill before us will reduce gun deaths and gun injuries in Massachusetts, and that it will do so without infringing on gun owners' rights. Senator Cynthia Stone Cream helped write the bill. It seeks to rein in untraceable ghost guns, ban firearms in government administrative buildings. It also prohibits devices that convert semi automatic firearms into fully automatic weapons and it allows health care professionals to ask a court to temporarily remove someone's firearms if they are deemed too dangerous. There's nothing in there that's going to suddenly reduce crime or help mental health in either bill. So I'm not exactly sure what the hurry is here. But the bill is receiving pushback. It's in response to HB 4135, a gun bill that cleared the House last fall. But this Senate version has dozens of new amendments. It also didn't get its own public hearing. Still, it passed overwhelmingly, and it has the support of the state's chief of police association. Ultimately, I feel like we should all be able to agree that we have to do more to keep our community safe and keep our children safe. Mm -hmm. And it's on us. Now, the Senate managed to keep some provisions that were in the original House bill, such as holding repeat gun offenders in custody until their trial. The bill now heads back to the House, where we expect objections to be made, but we'll be keeping you updated throughout the process. Right now, reporting in Boston, Manash Kungwari, NBC 10 Boston.